Now, in his 10 years at Real Madrid, Rafael Varane played 27 derbies against Atletico. On Sunday, he could play his first Manchester derby. Varane missed both games against Manchester City in his first season at Old Trafford, one with an injury and one with COVID. But he understands how important the game is for United's fans. It's very important. You have to feel um, what, they, what the fans uh, expect and uh, what they want. So that's very important. How do you understand the rivalry? Does it, does it, is it communicated to you by the fans or, or by the other players or do you just feel it in the city? From the fans. I think um, the rivalry, it's very important for them and uh, we respect that and uh, we want to make them happy. So we want to, to fight and to win against, uh, against teams like uh, City or Liverpool. Manchester City currently trail league leaders Arsenal by just a point and welcome rivals United who've recovered from an early season slump to the Etihad. Former City goalkeeper David James has warned Pep Guardiola's side to expect the best version of United. There's a bit of um, synergy with the Liverpool, Manchester, Manchester United Liverpool game a few weeks back where there was a lot of expectation there was going to be a one, you know, one team storming over the other. If Man City go into the game thinking there's going to be a walkover then they'll get surprised. Um, one thing that I don't think United are is weak. I think they've got decent players, decent manager. Their form isn't bad, but they've still got to keep Haaland quiet. If he plays, if he doesn't play, then they've got to keep Alvarez, whoever. I mean, you know, it's City's, it's City's to lose, I would argue, but I don't think it'll be a walkover. I think it'll be a good competition and uh, bragging rights to the blue side of the city. It's going to be a tough one. I think it's um, Ten Hag's first, first star being controls. We always know what it's like, regardless of whether on a bad run of form or just playing badly completely. When that game comes along, a different team time shows up anyway. So it will be a tough game, but I still think in, in the position City are in the way they're playing, I think they should win it. Seven league games so far and 11 goals. Right, Phillips says he'd have loved to have played with Haaland. He's definitely a winger's dream, I'll tell you that much. You just need to aim in between those two poles in the spaces and whatever part of his body, he'll get it in the back of the net. How many assists do you think you'd get if you were in the Man City side now? I don't know, but I'll be crossing from everywhere. I'll be like Trent. <laughs> Manchester Derby on Sky Sports. We're on air at 1pm. 2pm kickoff. be there. Hope you're not. <laughs> <laughs> well done, all the best. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> So, huge game on Super Sunday. Manchester City against Manchester United. Uh, United's players and ha fans would love it if Haaland wasn't there. As Neville said, coverage gets underway. Super Sunday, 1 o'clock, Sky Sports Premier League and main event, where you can see that interview between Gary Neville and Erling Haaland. And you can see build-up to all this weekend's Premier League action on Total Football. News conferences from the likes of Guardiola, Ten Hag, Jurgen Klopp as well. All the build-up from one o'clock here on Sky Sports News.